In this demonstration, we're going to look at exploring the System Center Configuration Manager console. So I've already connected by clicking on the icon in my taskbar. That's then brought me into Assets and Compliance workspace. So this is the workspace section down at the bottom left hand corner here. And what we also have here as well is we've got software library, monitoring and administration. So what we've got here on Assets and Compliance, we can look at our assets, so our assets being users, devices. We can have collections of users, collections of devices. We can also manage our user state migration if we're doing a side-by-side -side migration, maybe we're doing an operating system deployment. We can have a look at our asset intelligence, so we could do things like software licensing. We can do software metering to find out when users are using the software, how often they're using the software. We've got compliancy settings, and within compliancy settings, what we could do is we could create a baseline and then apply that baseline to our devices. That would allow us to ensure with remediation that those devices always comply to our IT policy. We've got endpoint protection for anti-malware and also as well for firewall. And down at the bottom here as well, we can see all of the devices owned by our organization. Then what we'll do here is we'll just go to the software library. So within the software library, we can manage applications, we can manage software updates, operating system deployments, and we've also got our Windows 10 servicing as well within here. So if we highlight each of these nodes up by just selecting the little triangle, we can see that each of these then have additional settings that we can put in place. So that's what we have in place there. Then if we go for monitoring, within monitoring we can monitor our system, so we can get alerts, we can do queries, we can get reports as long as we have the reporting point installed. We can have a look at our site hierarchy, we can have a look at the system status to see exactly how the system is behaving. We can look at deployed software, software updates, operating system deployments. We can have a look at client operations, client status, we can see how the database is replicating, we can have a look at our distribution points, and we can have a look at our software update our site servicing status, and also as well our endpoint protection status. And then for most administrators, the administration tab is probably the most important one. So we can have a look exactly how our hierarchy is working. We can see how we're discovering devices. We can manage cloud services as well. So if you do have an Intune subscription, you can manage it through here. You may have a cloud distribution point sitting in something like Azure. We can have a look at our updates and servicing. We have our site config for roles. We can also manage our client settings, so define exactly are we doing hardware inventories, software inventories, software metering. We can manage rules within our security to actually delegate out admin. We can have a look at our distribution points. We can group distribution points together, and we can also as well migrate from a previous version of Config Manager. What we've also got here as well is we also have, depending on what we select, so let's just go back to assets and compliance. So this point here, if we just select users, and just highlight the user, what we can see here within our results slash view pane is we can see the details at the lower level relating to the object that we click on. So depending on which object we click on will depend on exactly what we can see down here in our details pane. And that's the end of this demonstration of looking at the System Center Config Manager Administrator Console. Thank you.